guys, today we're going to be going over this side saddle here that we have mounted up on the 870. You guys have probably seen it in a few of my other reviews that I've done in action, but we're going to go ahead and talk about this specific one here. Um, side saddles have their pros and cons for sure, there's no getting around that, but in terms of uh, hard ones, ones that aren't going to be fabric made like the SOE or something like that, this is one of the better ones I've seen. But we'll go ahead and keep doing a little more shooting and then get into the details on this coming up next. Let's go ahead and take a closer look here at the side saddle. As you can see, as opposed to say like the Tackstar side saddle, it does not have any openings there on the side. One of the disadvantages that you're going to see with the tack stars, at least in my experience with them, is that eventually they loosen up and you'll start dropping shells. This one just simply is not going to do it because it's made out of 6061 uh, T6 aluminum. It also has a uh, Type 3 anodizing on there, so very durable stuff. It's very similar to what a lot of actual rifle receivers are made of. But one thing that's going to be nice about this versus, say, even the Mesa, which I do believe is probably more of a uh, competitor to this, if you will, is the uh, the way the shells are secured in there. You can look down and see there's actually two pieces of rubber that run down through underneath the aluminum and it's, it's machined just so that it'll fit in there perfectly. And what happens is when you go ahead and load a shell in there, you push it down and that rubber is going to grab the outside of that plastic shell and hold it in place or brass for those of you guys that use brass shells. So it comes out easy but it also stays secure regardless of how you're doing it. So if you want to load it that way, you can pull it out that way. Either way, you can fire the gun and under recoil, they will not come loose. At least in my experience, they have not. Now this one that we're looking at here, this is the Remington version. He does make a Mossberg version as well, which you see right here. Very similar in design, obviously just made to uh, fit the Mossberg pattern shotguns, both 590 and 500. And uh, it comes with all mounting hardware for those of you guys that are uh, concerned with that, that you might not have the tools to do it. It's very, very simple. You just knock out the two pins here on the 870 and uh, insert the threaded portion over here, the hex screws. Now the only thing it doesn't come with that I do recommend is it doesn't come with any blue Loctite. If you're going to put any sort of side saddle, permanent side saddle on your shotguns, I do recommend you go ahead and put some blue Loctite on there, which I did and have had no problems with it uh, loosening up or anything like that. Considering most of you have never heard of Doug's work before, uh, the obvious question is where do I get one, how do I get one if you want to get one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put his contact information below, but he just runs a, a small custom shop out of North Carolina where he builds these and doesn't have a website as of yet. I went ahead and told him he needs to go ahead and do that. But if he does, I'll go ahead and put it in the link below. If not, I'm going to go ahead and put his contact information in there. Pricing on these models for the six shot, both Remington and Mossberg is $55. He also makes a four shot model and that one's $45. So same specs though, 6061 T6 aluminum, same anodizing, all that jazz. Just one thing I wanted to cover that I didn't cover so far is um, the four end. You can see here we have the Magpul 4 end on there. You can go ahead and run it without issue. We have good clearance there. It doesn't matter what kind of 4 end you have on there. I also have a um, Hogue 4 end that I've used on here just fine, as well as the uh, 870 stock 4 end with no issues whatsoever. So, works fine. Great little product from a good company. And uh, honestly, I think Doug's going to keep selling a good bit more of these now that uh, word's getting out about them because they're a very high quality product. Another product that was actually recommended to me by one of my viewers. So, Good on you guys for uh, letting me know about this stuff, because otherwise I wouldn't have, but now I'm letting you know. But anyway, if you guys have any questions about this review here, uh, you can always post the comments below, or you can post over at my Facebook page. But uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I really appreciate it, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video.